Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Developers, in this tutorial, we are going to cover how to use webhooks in localhost in 2024. Whether you are testing web applications or working on local projects, understanding the ins and outs of webhooks in localhost is crucial. Stick with me and let's navigate through the world of local development with webhooks. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, first of all, we need to understand what webhooks is and what webhooks are and what they do exactly. So let's say we have here, for example, we have two different applications. One, for example, is Shopify and the other app is WordPress. So let's make Shopify on the left and WordPress on the right. Now, we would like to have WordPress and Shopify connected together. We would like Shopify to import the orders or the customers to WordPress. So there will be a way of communication between these two ad like applications. The way of communication or the thing that will allow them to talk to each other, it's not really talking but to talk to each other, hypothetically, is basically webhooks. So webhooks is doing all the job. It's going to be making the app provider to send a message to the consumer. And it could be also all the way around. So here I got the best like example. So webhooks are one way that apps can send automated messages or information to other apps. It is how PayPal tells your accounting app when your clients pay you, how to while you route phone calls to your number, and how WooCommerce can notify you about new orders in Slack. They are a simple way your online account can speak to each other and get notified automatically when something new happens. In many cases, you will need to know how to use webhooks if you want to automatically push data from one app to another. So basically this is webhook and this is how what it does exactly. So now guys since we have introduced to you what is webhook exactly now let's go and continue with this video. So in this video we are going to talk about two approaches of webhooks and localhost. The first one is how to use webhooks on localhost with local channel and the second is how to test webhooks on your localhost. So the first thing is basically to set up your local channel. So basically for those who don't know what is a local channel, local channel is an open source tool that exposes your local development environment to the internet. It provides a public URL that forwards and common requests to your local Localhost effectively enabling you to test webhooks without deploying your code. So here it is how you can simply roll it down and how you can install it. So simply just go to your terminal and go write npm install g local tunnel. Once it is installed, run the following command to expose your local server. So simply just give it lt, which is local tunnel port, and give the number of the port so replace 3000 with the ports your local server is running on you will receive a public url which you can use to set up your local or your webhook so now how to use local channel with webhooks let's say you are working on a node.js application with express and you want to test incoming webhooks here is a simple express setup so the first thing is to write this code constant express equals require express constants etc etc so you can go and make sure guys again here the code or the parts here must be replaced with the port that you are using on your url so run your local server start your express app which listens on port 3000 start local tunnel in a separate terminal run lt port and again the port should be depending on what port you have chosen. Then, get the public URL, local time will provide a public URL such as random subdomain .local .lt, and then configure the webhook, use the public, this public URL to configure uh, the webhook on the external service. Uh, make sure to append any routes you are using, like so, and now any webhooks event triggered from the external service will hit the public URL provided by local tunnel which will which will then forward the request to your local server so basically this is how you can 
eventually use webhooks on your local host but now let's move on to the other step which is basically how to test this webhook on your local host so the first thing guys as you can see here if you're developing your application on localhost then most probably your URL might look like this it is exactly what we are having so the first thing now is we need to install the ingrok agent so for example here there is three codes depending on what uh, like uh, uh, system are you using there is macOS, Linux and Windows you can use one of these codes depending on the system that you are using so for us on Windows, simply just type shellco install ingrog and it will be downloaded. If you prefer to install ingrog agent yourself, simply just go to the oversaw website, so ingrog download page, like here. Go to the Windows, download it like that, or simply just install or copy this code and install it automatically. So here, after the installation, you can confirm the installation via the following command ingrog and you should see such informations in your terminal after that start ingrok so now you can create tunnel to your local host sample app test via ingrok use the following command ingrok http your local hosts url and that's it and you should see the following so this is the following uh, text that should be appeared to you and now you should be able to use either http this code or http this link version of the ingrok url which is now pointing to your localhost simple app test this allows you to share your localhost application with outside world or configure webhooks to receive their calls. Use the following URL to see the incoming calls to your application. This also provides you a way to replay the request calls and see the, their information as well. So basically guys, this is basically it. I have showed you several ways on how to actually get to use your webhook with your local host, uh, how to install it in the first place, how to use it, how to use it with local tunnel, and as well how to test it out by yourself. So now you have your webhook connected, uh, you know what it does, how it works, how it can automate two applications together and how you, an application can actually be integrated to another. It is all made by webhook and nothing but it. So yeah guys, that was it for today's video. If you do have any more questions about webhook and how does it work, make sure to leave your questions down below in the comment section. I will try to answer all of your questions. Also guys, if there is any more topics that you want me to talk about, let's sh make sure to leave it in the comment section as well, so I can cover the whole topics that you want me to talk about. And yeah guys, that was it for today's video. Leave a like and subscribe and see you guys in the next tutorial.